COVID-19, the world pandemic that has become our new norm. Boring, isn't it? We on TV are allowed to take off our masks, but of course we have to put them back on if we have people around us. Unless, of course, you're social distancing yourself, like Neliswa is right next to me. For that time of the day, that time of the week when you were traveling, and of course you were seeing places of interest to you. Once again, Nelisu, how are you? I'm great, thanks, Bumi. You know, I'm so excited for the first episode about the new season of the show. You know, we are the squad that is ready to travel, play, and inspire you to do the same right there at home. Um, we are so ready to go back to all the favorite places that COVID-19 had locked us out of. Travel has resumed. I'm sure you're ready for that. Of course, I am sure you're also worried about um, your safety and that is why most people were even locked up in their houses but of course it is that time again um, we've been visiting your local hotels your local restaurants and your entertainment areas just to make sure they've also been complying with the COVID-19 regulations just preparing for your safety as you visit this is what we compiled for you Our hotel was officially open on the 14th of May 2019 and we boast of 124 bedrooms and eight conference rooms now. We started off with five venues and we have since extended to, to eight. Um, uh, the, the first five being on the ground floor and then we, we launched the extra venues which is located on the fifth floor. We also have a restaurant, which is ordinarily a 101-seater. Um, that was prior to, you know, COVID. So we have since reduced the numbers to allow for social distancing. And we also have a bar and a lounge area. And we also have a beautiful pool area that also has a venue adjacent to it, which is a green top, which will take you through. We have a gym and we also have a self-service um, laundry um, facility. We happen to be in the industry that has been hit the, hard mo the hardest and then unfortunately for us to start off with um, in terms of, 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 of guest interactions and access to our services we happen to be one of those establishments that are, are, are well advanced and innovative when it comes to technology. As Hilton Worldwide um, there is a global initiative that was rolled out last year uh, just after we reopened because you remember that um, when COVID hit there was a full lockdown that was implemented so during that period we behind the scenes at as Hilton um, were rolling out and training our team members on what you call a Hilton Clean Stay. So Hilton Clean Stay is a global initiative that was rolled out by Hilton as a group in terms of um, amplifying the cleanliness measures, the security and cleanliness measures um, within the property. So we partnered with Detour and Liaison in consultant with Mayo Clinic to roll out this global program. That is also one factor that differentiates us from the industry players locally because it is um, a program that um, has upped our standards from what they were since COVID hit. Yeah. Our guests need to make sure they have their facial masks which cover their nose and their mouth and um, we do sanitization. There's a dispenser as you enter the hotel the main entrance and then as you walk in there's a temperature checkpoint um, which you go through and um, as you check in we make sure that there's a screen between the guest and the, 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 the team member who is attending to that guest at that particular time and that journey is extended through to the restaurant we make sure that our guests are socially distancing should they be interacting at the lounge area as we are seated, um, make sure we make sure that they are socially distanced even as they check in. And as you go into the restaurant area as well, we have a sanitization station which you are going to, you know, um, have a look at as well. And um, in the restaurant, in the event we serve a buffet, I'll take you through the measures that we have put in place 
to ensure that um, it's a safe environment for our guests. We have the gloves, we have the socially distancing stickers that um, guide our guests as they you know, go through the buffet. We socially distance them as well as they are seated um, in the restaurant. As well, we have also rolled out what you call um, an event ready initiative within our conference spaces, which will take you through as well. The bedrooms as well. Clean Stay basically says um, we sanitize all the facilities within the venue or within the bedroom and we seal the venue itself to say it's, it has been fully sanitized. The first person to open this venue is going to be the event organizer and the event, that on itself gives them the surety and, 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 and the peace of mind to say I'm the first one to, 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 to break the seal and to access this venue or the bedroom without anyone else, you know, tempering or touching any uh, points within that area. The COVID pandemic has been one of the huge blow, right. uh, but it is also, it has given us an opportunity to, to, to see and test how our creativity goes. All right. uh, for example, when you went in, the process when you went into the hotel, we've got our sanitization posts when you go into sanitize. We are trying to run away from any touchy feely kind of kind of thing. So when you went through you get to sanitize yourself outside, you check in and also the posts to uh, to notice the social distancing kind of uh, spacing. Yes. Yeah. So our daily conference package is known in the hospitality industry as the DCPs. We are running them. It's very fortunate that in the whole country I'm confident to say that we're the ones that introduced the more hybrid which is connecting virtually. Right. Uh, as you've before COVID, did you know that you can get into virtual meetings? No, no we didn't. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in an African context, Umhlangano is meeting and actually having food. That's, that's, a, that's a typical, but yeah, but we've promoted the hybrid contact hybrid. We provide the webcam right. for visuals and also audios. So right now we are one of we're in one of the conference spaces. As we went in, as you notice, we had the sticker with our Hilton Clean Stay events ready, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a, a only exclusive to Hilton. The seal tape, high silo tape. Oh, it's seal tape. There's seal tape outside <laughs> because it was sealed. It is referenced that the room inside is fresh. Okay. So when we open, when the seal, seal, seal tape goes off, it means that the room has been used. So okay. it's for the clients for to know that this room has not been has not been uh, sanitized Tenet. or freshened up. Mm -hmm. And it's for you guys to know that also in the rooms, we'll go there to check if the seal tape is sealed, that room is fresh. And and then now when it comes to the actual meetings whereby the people are now in the room, right. what is it, what are the procedures, like, what are the things that you have taken and put in place to make sure that everything right. is okay as far as the COVID-19 regulations are concerned? Okay, good question. So we do put the setup, the 1.5 meters in between the clients on our tables. Right. These swabs, they are not condoms, they are swabs. <laughs> so we have the swabs. Okay. We don't have the sanitization, uh, the sanitizers which are the bottles because as I said, we are trying to to avoid the touch and feel. Oh. So each person has a notepad, has a pen to the to themselves, who also have a regist registration uh, kind of sheet there okay. where people put their temperatures, we monitor uh, all that. Uh, for the tea breaks outside, we've put the posts in place. So uh, we tell the organizers that the people should, should ration themselves. There should be kind of the breeze in between but for clients which are quite finicky about the whole meeting people coming here we have the hybrid if there are 50 packs we have a capacity to take 25 packs from one room and 25 to the next and then connect them virtually oh, okay, it's all great. cyber thing so now when it comes to the when it comes to the authorities maybe your municipality and all those things yes. how far have you guys gone in making sure that you're in line with all their regulations and all that and all that is expected of you uh, we made a noise when the COVID uh, pandemic hit us in Swaziland. We made a noise about it. We invited the tourism authority. So we were certified by the Minister of Health that we are compliant to all COVID regulations. Yes. So that is the certif certification we got, and the minister was here. All our owners, Hilton owners, were here. All our, um, our brands. We, they are certified around around the world, so we do have the certification. And in all in our signages, we, we, whether it's email, we have that there. It's just just a medal, it's a gold medal.
bank there that we are certified by the health. So yeah, we got that covered. Okay, just to place high emphasis on the fact that the safety and security of our team members and the guests is crucial. So the same has been extended in terms of social distancing. Our gym facility is accessible only by in-house guests and we only allow a, man, a maximum of three guests at a time as compliant to the COVID regulations that are currently in place. The swimming pool is also accessible. However, we make sure that you know the numbers are restricted to at least five guests at a time because that number allows for the social distancing. I'm sure it has been exciting for you to see how far Hilton Garden has gone in making sure that all of you as their visitors are safe as far as COVID-19 is concerned when you're doing your travels, especially in their place and everything there. Um, we are about to take our short break and then when you come back from that break, we are going to the Dubai Expo. October 2021, March 2022, Live Dubai, Dubai, Mugela, 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 celebrating different traditions, cultures, dishes, and so much more. Kanti Nati Sili Vela Gangwane, Stabese Melelegile, Gule La Live, Gulo Gulo Gatu Anguti Yi Dubai Expo. Di Shobo Tefube Solo Sambisana Nato, Si Katsile Sitze Shelo Eni Liti Bushlebe, Fui Eswati Mi Tourism, Kanyana Leti Nye Tingo Nila Paiven La Gangwane, Di Daube Di Melele Lona Live La Gangwane, Sto Tese La Bogela Tabe Ba Melele Leli Live, La Basuga Gule, La Batebe Ba Part of What We Know As Dubai Expo, what are their expectations and what will they be showcasing in Dubai on behalf of the Kingdom? The Kingdom of Eswatini is really privileged to be part of this exciting initiative. Um, Expo 2020 Dubai will have um, 192 countries that are going to be participating and um, each country will have a unique and custom-made um, pavilion. So that really makes this whole exposition different and unique and the center of it and the underpinning factor of it is that the Expo is an Expo of national pride. So Eswatini will just be showcasing its uniqueness to the rest of the world and presenting itself for what it truly is to the rest of the world. The Kingdom of Eswatini is really privileged to be part of this exciting initiative. Um, Expo 2020 Dubai will have um, 192 countries that are going to be participating and um, each country will have a unique and custom-made um, pavilion. So that really makes this whole exposition different and unique and the center of it and the underpinning factor of it is that the expo is an expo of national pride. So Eswatini will just be showcasing its uniqueness to the rest of the world and presenting itself for what it truly is to the rest of the world. Eswatini will be joining the rest of the world and connecting with the rest of the world intellectually, uh, economically, uh, politically and otherwise. So we are looking at greater opportunities for the Kingdom of Eswatini. Um, underpinning all of that as well is that there are sub-themes of the Expo which are sustainability, uh, mobility and opportunity. Eswatini has decided to choose mobility as their, their, their theme because it resonates well with us as the country and we do want to see ourselves moving forward. We do remember that we do have the Vision 2022, which is a vision that really is saying we are moving forward as a country and we're going to be seeing Eswatini being a better country as we move forward. So it was designed and chosen in that backdrop. Yeah. 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 
So the tin wallet was at corner le is about the bus update and the bus chela would see say bua and the pavilion around one. See bua say slab at la bella say slab of corn. A mobasa corner must have a bella lena set up a pavilion yet. I set up a exhibition. So basically, a cabinet naga negative directive advisor would say. The exhibition here to I I fage an ordinary swazi person in the street. Now Kuluma an ordinary swazi person on the street. Kuluma alom lo 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 gatzam lo bumbang siyo lo akasaki. The din lang di show langam buleng lelete lo show kuzi asna titimi si lo si mixele mo bawa kwa nzambe tingapa. Ikutoa liswa tini, lilisika ya alibonaga lililege exhibition nemsebenoa. The artistry and the skill of the women who work in handcraft is just incredible. We have a competitive edge when it comes to the handmade sector in our country. Eswatini has such a high reputation for craft. It really does, and that's a global reputation. So we wanted to connect artisans to the markets because we have the skill, we have the raw materials. I mean, you can just look at these things. And the problem was getting them to the market, bringing the buyers and connecting people because we, we do have issues with um, internet in rural areas. Um, people weren't properly costing their products, weren't costing their labor. And when you make something in the handmade sector, it's your time. So you should be paid for your time. And that's what we wanted to do. So we started with three um, handmade companies in the country. It was Tinsaba, Sheila Fremantle, Tony Marshak of Swazi Candles, and myself when I was here at Gone Rural. And we started a network and it grew really quickly, really quickly, because we have 10 principles of fair trade that we follow. And we want more socially conscious businesses. Businesses that it's not just about um, making something and selling it. It's about putting clean water in for communities. National Day. National Day, performance. So it's in a sense culture true pet to buy. The culture true could show the if I best part of them gala, a Lutamo, a Machaha, singer artist. A log show would say the enjoy it would say Moba Labalabas Hola, Baratoris. A enjoy it would say Umundolo audience, but I was little a boo. I think Funaro Varashela and Alitanali. Nale performance. I'm one of our cabalons is the performance. So, Funasi present as such. Handmade sector is about dignity work. This is dignity work. I mean, just look at this. This is someone made this with pride. And that's a skill. I can't weave. I've tried. I am useless. I can't do it. So, I will bring what I can do well, which is finding customers and helping people to develop their product or their marketing. But I can't do this. But someone is sitting in Lavo Misa, in a small rural village, making this beautiful thing. And the women do it in their own time. So if they want to do three hours, they'll do three hours. If they want to do eight, they will. And the amazing thing about handcraft is that the status of women within their communities has been elevated because they're the income earners. And it's the only way to elevate the status of women across the entire world is to make them the primary income generators. And the Lakaya gets in a very vacant, the 
Detene Lakaya, Velege, Loko in Krim, Kana, Kupia, Wetu. There are a few things that's determined, especially with some Gazans and Gazayet. Napocona, Samba Sota Tatimo, Sipegamato. The carrier Bushev, the Tonsil Lagogong, out from the Swamu Funzang and Book. Mamma Funang Bona would slam La Langambula, Opera in Opera Jan. Mamma because Lava Shiro Jogotis Yobesina, hundred and eighty a month. Tabang was numbless cats, Lengi, some shall be two or three or four. We met different cousin in my countries and Dabanga Bugile. Okay, Emmanuel, if you say to buy sa Saketa Emmanuel, let's see, filling it. Le Farabo Bodin Zubu Farabatana beat from beat from the Lessina, you claim you eat two, and beat for a spinach, and beat for a tinzana. Se tinha a magra sas decide a gota seven se imbuti não é porque se tinha se tinha o jovem chilo gota se pili vela o canic futi imbuti se vela safuna lele da classa o banala caia estrecha seven se aí o na vela se o que é se na caia logo que logo complementa se acula mas não é a gota se é imbush o gota me faz estar o boa gota se está o seven se imbush o na ponte se de tinha logo se tinha se tem de tinha ele só o the soap on a little bit of a 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 and the Dubai market is a wealthy market, so then there'll probably be some good margins coming back into Eswatini from that. So that's really exciting. And hopefully some buyers, like they'll walk in, they'll see all of this and they'll be like, oh, I've got to have it. And then they'll buy it and they'll want some more. So you never know, you could end up finding a distributor because that's the best way to get your products global, uh, global anywhere is to find someone who's going to buy a container of your things and then sell it for you. And it's one order, one shipment, and they do all the work. So that's my hope, is that one or more of us get that distributor. Yeah. the culture troupe is connected to the festival calendars as a Middle East, as a Europe. No matter from all over the world, maba sinalo kabang was living and living lelo na lene festival yar lelfisi le no mal lelfisa was a libot lelo host and the my international dancers. So mula po get sinalo as it's called na lesta besu ko enda lesta enda la was a siba fosse lelo was a naba plan a festival bang abashi la bagangwa. Um, the key message for us as the Kingdom of Eswatini, first of all, from a tourism point of view, is that um, we have a new name, which is Eswatini. Most people in the international community are not aware of that name, and we, wa we want to leverage on this platform using the broader media coverage that is there to really present Eswatini as a new country with the new the naming of Eswatini as something that we want to push. The other sectors are really sectors that are in the uh, economic road, road, road map of the Kingdom of Eswatini, which include um, commerce, agriculture, and also education, just to name a few. So we do want to, to, to present Eswatini as a country that has Good intellectual property, good, 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 well-educated um, uh, skill set of, of of the people of Eswatini, so that when an investor comes to Eswatini, they know that they are going to have a, a highly skilled workforce. So that presents Eswatini as a unique country in the context of the rest of the world, because our edu our education system is above the rest, and um, the people in Eswatini are well educated. Oh, I'm very confident that the Kingdom of Eswatini shall be well represented in the Dubai Expo. You can catch us on YouTube. Uh, we also have the Eswatini TV app that you can download on Google Play Store, whereby you can follow up on all our programs. 
Of course, Nelly. So, but long ago, I was excited to have you on the show. I am excited. We're good to you. Will still be with us on the show. Mbugeli Nelly, too. But I'm going to go see all those adventurous places that Nelly so will be visiting. Over, he'll be doing the hiking and the 21-kilometer races and whatnot. All the things that I can't do. Got vague. And thank you, Nelly. Because we're going to make it. We're going to see the land. We're going to see Mbugeli. So, we're going to see Mbugeli. 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 Thank you so much.